Hey guys, Apple has finally released iOS 11.3, but it's only for one device, the new iPad they announced at the event yesterday. So it's a bit strange of them to do this. It's unknown why, maybe there's a critical bug fix they had to push out 11.3 faster for this device alone. But in any case, it means that we're gonna be getting iOS 11.3 on all other devices probably very soon here. And better yet, I took a look at the build number, which is 15E216, and it's actually very similar, shares similarities with my beta six firmware on my iPhone 10, which is 15 e 5216a and that 216 part is the part that is shared across all devices on the beta 6 firmware so my guess is that we are already running the gold master on our devices we'll see what happens there might be another update right after this but in any case ios 11.3 will probably be coming very very soon here now we haven't had a 0.4 release of an ios update in quite some time since ios 8.4 in fact apple has officially confirmed that 11.4 will be happening and detailed a couple features that are arriving with it now it's ipad exclusive and i'm sure there will be a adjustments and changes to other devices, but what they said is that in 11.4, ClassKit will be arriving. That's basically what they detailed in the event yesterday, where you'll be able to manage a lot of students using this new framework, and it's going to be great for teachers, for classrooms, making your iPad a lot more school friendly. Alongside that, there will be a new app exclusively for this ClassKit feature for iPads called Schoolwork, where you'll be able to manage assignments and stuff like that. And I do believe Apple did show off part of it in the event yesterday. So this is just iPad exclusive, but again, there might be new features for other devices. Also likely coming in a future iOS update if approved, Apple sent out these accessibility emojis detailing many disabilities to the Unicode consortium. There's a guide dog, people using canes, disabilities like a wheelchair. So this would be a good thing to have. And Apple basically said they want to better represent people with disabilities by using these emojis. So you can probably expect these to arrive in a future version of iOS, possibly iOS 12. And this one has me quite excited. Ming-Chi Ko has released a new report on the Apple Watch Series 4, and there are several things that are changing for 2018. He says that it will be receiving a redesign, which would be the first since its original release. It's unknown if that means it'll be getting slimmer, a new chassis, if the display will be going round. We don't know anything about it. Just know that it will be receiving a redesign. By the way, Ming-Chi Ko still has a 75% track record, so he is pretty reliable, pretty accurate in what he says. He's also saying that the display might grow 10 to 15% in size. And what we're showing you here in this concept, probably not to that extreme. Vanya Geskin's illustration probably represents it a little bit better from the current rectangle Apple has on it to this rounded screen. I think that would represent 10 to 15% increase in size and it would look very similar to the iPhone 10. It would match it better. So I do like this and I think that's what Apple probably will do. He also said that the battery life will be getting better, which is great because I can go easily three days with the Apple Watch Series 3. At the end of the day, I'm usually around like 70%. So to see an all week battery life on the Apple Watch, that would be great. And he's saying this improvement will be happening because of battery capacity increasing. And lastly, he says it will have improved health monitoring capabilities, which will also help with the battery life. But this could also mean that it will have an EKG, which was rumored earlier, an electrocardiogram, which measures irregularities in your heartbeat by uh, sending out electrical signals from the device itself. So we'll see what happens there. But overall, that's shaping up to be quite the upgrade to the Apple Watch Series 4. And earlier today, Vinny Geskin tweeted this. He believes that the iPhone 8 Plus product red is in fact happening. And alongside it, most likely the iPhone 10 and regular 8s will be releasing. Unknown when, possibly WWDC, Apple could mention this, but that would be a very nice rejuvenation to the iPhone 10. Now the Mi Mix 2S has been released. It's a successor to the original Mi Mix. And at the time when I saw that, it was so incredible, so futuristic. So just wanted to mention this thing. It's definitely growing since the original, but it doesn't look as impressive to me. Still though, I believe the iPhone 10 has a couple things to learn from it, namely the earpiece placement. I think the future iPhones will do something similar, just a little cutout there at the very, very top. Uh, the camera is still at the bottom, pretty inconvenient. The back now has the dual lens sensor, very similar to the iPhone 10 in look. Still has a fingerprint sensor. It's faster now, has wireless charging and these cool new colors. So at $527, I think this thing is a bargain, but it won't be coming to the United States. So you can't really get it here to use, but I'll still get it just to review on this channel. And lastly, the space gray accessories from the iMac Pro, which you couldn't buy before without buying the iMac Pro are now available to buy separately. The mouse is $99, the keyboard, one 149 and trackpad 149 which is more expensive than the silver and white color versions but still these things look so sleek in person and it's just great that apple is giving you the opportunity to buy it without having to buy the whole computer now all right guys there it is quick update i'll keep you updated on the release of ios 11.3 and 11.4 in the future peace